Right, we've got a lovely day for it. Let's finish the work on the back of this transit van. See you in a second. Right, now I've stripped down, as you saw in the last video, uh, the drum, we've got, we've got the drum off and we still didn't find out why the drum was actually stuck on because after a few taps, as you remember, it seemed to revolve okay and when I took the drum off, it was just a bit dirty inside. The brake shoes were a bit worn but there was no re looking reason until I actually stripped it down and let's show you what I've actually found. This is what caused the handbrake cable to stick on. So let's show you that. Right, well as you can probably see there, this is where the handbrake cable comes into the back of the drum and it's just held in by this sort of retaining clip there. I don't know whether you can really see that. And then it comes and it goes round here and this little nipple there, as you can probably see there, that connects onto one of the arms on this side brake shoe and when the handbrake is pulled on, it pulls the brakes on. So that's what happens there. Now when you release the brake, this spring here actually allows the shoe to spring back into its old position but if you look at the if i pull this out there we go look it's actually broken into many pieces look and that's the reason why that the brakes were getting stuck on because that won't return into its correct position so what i've got to do i've actually ordered a new handbrake cable and i've got it here for this side so we're going to be putting that on first and that's what i'm going to do now and all i've got to basically do there is to actually squeeze in them two sides of the clip there and this will withdraw out of the drum and then just trace it back. Right, that's that bit off. Now to get the rest of the cable out, I can tap this again afterwards, get this nut out of there and put a new nut in when I attach the new spring, so that's what I plan to do there. Well, that cable, not so much getting the cable in, but that little spring clip, which keeps it away from the body, that was the biggest pain in the butt getting that screw out. Unbelievable, you saw the trouble I had with it. In the end, I just happened to get them old grips on it and it did come out and I found a new, new brand new bolt I put in there. And it's one of those little clips that uh, it screws into. It don't actually screw into the, the chassis leg. It's a little clip that sits over the chassis and that screws in so they can break so anyway I didn't know that at the time but that's what it is I got over that right I'll just show you now I've got the new brake shoes to go in and I'll just show you the layout of them now let's have a little look right as you can see there the, the two new drums have arrived as well so I'll be doing the other side and this is the actual layout of the springs in case you want to have a look and the way the adjuster fits on now this spring here obviously sits behind that little hook there and I can't stretch it out now, but that then goes into that hole there. I'll assemble this once it's over the hub, and then it's a matter of just pulling and then try and seating it on the actual um, post down here and, and either side of the caliper there. I've wound the adjuster right in. That spring, as you can see, it's the shortest part that goes there, the longest part that goes there. And the adjuster, if I just remove the adjuster, you can see how that actually lays on. So opening it up like that, as you can see, Take the adjuster out that way and can you see the way that I've laid the adjuster in there? That's the way it actually goes in, look.
Right, okay. Let's give the old foot brake a bit of a pump. I'll start the engine up just to get the servo working. If it'll start, I've not started it for blinking mumps. It's in neutral. Look at that. After all that time, it started up first time. Brilliant. So handbrake's off, let's pump the brakes. Brakes are lovely and firm and I heard the auto adjuster click as well. So let's just see what's happening here. Which it is. There we go. So that's off, now let's put the handbrake on. Right, handbrake's on, but it's coming up a long way. So handbrake's on now. So let's take the handbrake off. We should be able to rotate the wheel. Here we go. So, technically speaking, that's the job done. I'll wait till I've done the other side and I've got to uh, adjust the handbrake possibly then, but you don't need to see that. So I'll put the wheel back on and let's give it a little test drive. again now I found the keys it starts up very well to say it's not been touched all over the cold period and it started first time there we go I got petrol now the last time I tried to drive this as I said to you the handbrake was stuck on so handbrake's off on yeah it's gonna need adjusting anyway oh, it makes a change I thought the other one was I thought the other side was going to be stuck on for a minute. So yeah, I've got the other side to do still, and uh, I won't be showing that in this video, obviously, but... Um... Oh, Gary's just turned up. Anything behind? Where are you going? What a bloody job. I've only done one side. Getting the handbrake cable off is the hard bit. We're getting the clip that bolts onto the chassis. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to roll back on. It's going to need adjusting. It's coming right up at the moment, but I won't do that until I've done the other side. Yeah. I just wanted to test the brakes out, so I'm just going to go around the block. A See you later. Right. Full pedal. As I say, that adjuster, the automatic adjuster, hopefully should take up on its own. But um, it's got a little clicking mechanism on it, isn't it? So, yeah, the van actually drives well. I think it's June or July this year. I've got the, um, the MOT again, so uh, that's when I'll tell whether the brakes are... Um, performing this per their pressure but as I say the van's now back on the road with brand new drums new brakes on this side anyway and tomorrow as I say you won't be seeing that on video but um, I'm gonna be doing the other side tomorrow but as I say that's the symptom I had was the handbrake was getting stuck on and I thought it was due to corrosion but as you saw it was due to that busted return spring on the actual handbrake mechanism and that could have happened any time. It just happened when I was stationary in my drive. But I could have put the, the handbrake on anywhere at traffic lights or whatever, gone to let it off, and it wouldn't have returned because the spring wouldn't have let the brake off on that wheel and I would have been dragging the wheel. So that's the problem I would have been in. So that's one to be aware of. So the van's back on the road for the moment. As I say, it will be back on the road fully tomorrow once I um, do that one. 
good to have it back. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Hope you got something from it. And I'll see, you. yeah, the handbrake's not really holding on. It's coming right up, so I will adjust that when I put the new shoes on. Okay then, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again in the next video. Till then, bye for now.